I came across a lot of obscure research, many of it, much of it done in Japan, China, Russia, the Ukraine, and so on, of these, and these were electrical engineers. They weren't biologists for the most part. And they were simply passing various frequencies through cell cultures. And they were saying, gee, isn't it cool when I try a range of frequencies? Look, nine hertz is doubling the amount of DNA repair going on. These are electrical frequencies? These are electrical frequencies going through these cell cultures. And they definitely are having a large effect on, at the right frequency on our cells. But the tapping, rhythmic tapping, usually at your own pace and your own pressure. So there's no prescribed way of tapping. You just tap how it feels good for you. People just calm down. And what happens is that it produces a kind of electricity called piezoelectricity, the same kind of electricity produced by, say, a gas grill. When you turn a gas grill into the light position, it goes click. And that's the pressure of a metal element on a ceramic plate. That pressure produces electricity, a spark, and eventually ignites the gas. Same thing when you tap, 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 tap on these points. It sends a wave through the connective tissue of your body to the part of your body that's that's disturbed or that's experiencing uh, any kind of energy blockage the way you would in, in acupuncture. And when you tap that way and you're remembering the bad stuff, then you feel better, all kinds of chemical changes happen in your body. In a study I've been doing recently with people at a one-week EFT retreat, their baseline resting cortisol is dropping by over 40% in one week. Their baseline of cortisol, just their average cortisol level. From tapping. From tapping, is in, a, in one week is dropping over 40%. So big shifts, big resets going on in the, in the body's physiology when you tap.